Chelsea. You fucked up. And indeed, Chad Gable, you fucked up. In the worst way possible. Hey, yo, what's happening, people? It's your boy, Blaze here. Back to you with another one here for Venomous Reactions. And you already know, I got to talk about this one right here. Uncle Howdy finally gets Chad Gable. And from the looks of it, it looks like Chad Gable is trying to make one more attempt to reach his former Alpha Academy teammates in order to gain some more allies. But I have a feeling it's not going to end pretty for Chad. And I I tuned into the In The Clutch live stream and I heard it and you know I had to check this one out right here. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is going to be lovely. I already know. Now, the reason I asked you guys to stay out here tonight is because there's something in me that needs to just keep helping my former pupils, you know? I can't yeah, help myself. quote, unquote, help. That's just the type of guy I am, I guess, you know? Not to mention being a narcissistic little fucking imp <laughs> who don't care who he hurts as long as he gets what he wants. But lo and behold, he's going to get what he wants. Well, not so much as what he wants, but what he deserves. I already know. Now, Otis, I see you've assumed a leadership position here at Alpha Academy. That's certainly an interesting choice. What but the first asshole. thing you decided to do was team with Xavier Woods, and you lost. Now, the coach in me would tell you, Otis, you got to lead with your mind, right? But we all know that using your brain isn't really your strong point, is it, buddy? Such an asshole. But it is mine. That's of course it is. That's why I recruited the Creed Brothers. Of course you A did. A couple of fine, athletic, freak, professional athletes to stand by my side. I go lie, man. Him recruiting the Creed brothers, uh, they could add some stock. Could happen. Like, we already know the Creed brothers, they are awesome just by themselves. But if you have like a mastermind with Chad Gable behind them, whoo, they could be dangerous to the tag team division. I, I'm, I'm calling it now. And fill in where there was clearly some weaknesses. But tonight I'm here to offer you guys a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I'm telling you right now, do the right thing. Come back to your coach and rejoin this team. Mm, come back to the coach. Are they going to do it? Ask the real make a dollar question. Oh, 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 a little incentive before you answer. Don't forget. The Wyatt Six are after everybody on this roster, including you guys. So you join up with us, you get a little extra protection. <laughs> oh no, they're not. Ev they're not after everybody on the roster. They're after you. They're after you, Chad Gable. The Alpha Academy. They don't want nothing to do with the Wyatt Six, and I don't blame them. But uh, yeah, you want them to join up so they can get their ass kicked. Yeah. What sis does that make? None. <laughs> Idiot. Protection? Are you sure, Chad Gable? Like you protected the Creed Brothers last week? Oh, yeah, when things get juicy and dangerous, Ooh. Chad Gable flees the scene, gets out the ring, and leaves these two dead inside the ring. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Got him. That's the kind of man you are. Mm. And my answer is still no. <laughs> okay, Otis is finding his voice. I love to see him. I love to see him more on the mic. And it's believable. But, yo, Otis is finding his voice. And you know what? I'm here for every bit of it. Tell him, Otis. Tell him. And a baby Otis. 
is. You're an idiot. <laughs> That's pathetic. Maxine, Tazawa, you're not really going to let this clown speak for you, are you? The insults just keep on coming. Chad, you never learn. Yeah, they digging old this, and I love it. Well, that's unfortunate. Boys! And the oh. Green Brothers going after and let the beat, And let the beat down commence. <laughs> and there goes Tazawa. Gable. Gable gave Otis and Tazawa and Maxine an opportunity to rejoin the group. And Otis said no, and now the Creed Brothers beat the hell out of Otis. Yeah, the Creed Brothers yep. are under Chad Gable's spell. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Oh, Chad! You're in trouble, my friend! Finally, Gable's gonna get his come up and. Oh! Damn free brothers! By the free brothers beating down on us! Gable's despicable actions continue! That would pop out a shoulder for real. This little piece of well, the propaganda must have been flying. The Creed's brainwashed Man, by yo. Chad Gable. Oh! And now Gable giving the Creed brothers chairs like they need chairs now to do even more damage. Man, this. Hold up a second there, Chad, my boy. Hold up just one second. Crowd <laughs> saying, you fucked up. And indeed, Chad Gable, you fucked up. In the worst way possible. You just don't learn. Your actions is the reason why stuff like this is happening to you. But yet, you feel like you want to recruit more people to get their ass kicked by the white six. Chad, 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 you will never learn, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they had to scissor that out. <laughs> oh! Oh, they big tough now with chairs in their hand. Step into the light. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Chad. They're here. <laughs> what do you do now? But wait. There's four. Chad, turn around, my guy. Oh, into the face of death. Boom. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. Seeing Bo Dallas execute Sister Abigail is so poetic. And I ain't gonna lie, man. It looks just as crisp as Bray Wyatt's version of Sister Abigail. And I gotta say, yo, Chad, you will never learn. You will never learn. Until you realize that you keep doing what you're doing is the reason why things like this is happening to you. You're gonna continue to get haunted and get your ass kicked. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many people you recruit, you the Y6, they still outnumber you 5 to 3. And you think the Creed brothers, as awesome as they are, that, that 
<sighs> that they are going to save you? No. No, no, no. Oh, but man, yo, that sister Abigail was so poetic, man. I, that don't even deserve no words. That moment sold itself. But yo, man, let me know what y'all thought so about this one, man. And as always, thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. And don't forget to tell your peoples across the globe. Come kick it with your boys. It's one good solid time. And you already know what to do, man. Yo, follow your boy on social media right over yonder. And this is your boy Blaze here saying check that deal. So now we'll see y'all in the next video. And I'm out.